case for, for any of you who don't know, this is Simone McGill, Northern Ireland footballer, international Woo! extraordinaire. Welcome to the Grab Show. Thanks for coming. Good to be here. <laughs> so apparently you had the answer to Joe's brain teaser. I did. You got it right. Who's somebody else got it as well? I um, somebody from Coleraine. Somebody from Coleraine. I forget her name. It's a big town, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Simone's going to answer the answer. Yes. Answer. Go ahead. What, what was the answer, answer to Joe's brain teaser? Um. So what is it? The doctor is his mother. Yeah. Well done. Get the banjo right. Full marks. So Simone, for those of you who don't know who you are. We're going to get down to brass tacks and find out who you are. Right. right. So, how did you first get started in football? Uh, well, it takes me back. I was about four years old when I first started. Four, wow. Yeah. So, uh, I played for, well, actually, I saw my brother play. And right. I saw him and I was like, well, I would like to play. So, I went along to mini soccer at Tubmore. Mm -hmm. And... Just played there, went every week, loved it. I and I just got hooked down that way. I did, yeah. From four though. Yeah. Really small. There you go, but still brilliant, all the same. So now you went from there to where? Okay, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you started off the Matt Tom Moore football club and then Yeah, well you go? Uh, well I played boys football then. Right. So I played Next down with the lads. Yeah. <laughs> I played for Cookstown Youth Boys. Right. And I played with them for about since I was 10 till about 15. Right. And through there, I was playing both boys and girls football, boys mm -hmm. in the third girls in the summer. And yeah. I played for the girls team Middle Street Ladies in Cookstown. Uh huh. Who currently so that's what is. That's Cookstown. Yeah, so. Oh, right. There you go. And that's why I learned, I learned something new myself. Yeah. <laughs> so, alright, so it's just, as we say, went on from strength to strength. Yeah, just went on from there. Yeah. And you are a Northern Ireland International, am I wrong? <laughs> yes, no, I am. <laughs> you are indeed. So, yeah, am I wrong in thinking you're captain of the Under 19s? Yes, the Under 19s team. Yeah, and you're also part of the senior team as well? Yep. You're captain of that as well? No. <laughs> I'm just getting my facts all mixed up. So, but yeah, you do play for the seniors as well as the Under 19s. Yeah, that's right. And if I'm correct, I'm not, I'm being really geeky here, being a typical <laughs> Northern Ireland fan, but you scored a hat trick in your last game. Yeah, I did. <laughs> well done. What was that like? Scoring a hat trick for uh, the iron? Well, words can't really describe it. It was it was a big match for us. If we yeah. if we won the match, we topped our group. Won all three three matches. So to get a hat trick, just the icing on the cake for us, really. I'd say the journey home of some crack. Oh, it was. <laughs> So, I, so tell me, what's it like to pull on the green shirt to represent your country? Because not very many people would experience no, it. No, it is. It's something. It's an honour in itself. You know, uh, words can't really describe it. You know, you just feel so much passion. And it's weird though. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I always... Uh, kicking football around the yeah, world doing that. Yeah, yeah, I grew up a uh, really big Northern Ireland fan and always wanted to play for them someday. And, you know, yeah, came true. <laughs> Brilliant. Alright, so tell me, what's the atmosphere like before a game then? Uh, it, it can be very tense. Um, everyone's in their own, own wee zone. So nobody, nobody talks to you, they're all just sitting on the floor. Uh, <laughs> Headphones on. Oh man. Getting in your zone. Really antisocial. Yeah. Nobody talk to me! Yeah. Lovely. Because you see them all going in, even the Premiership games, and they see them walking off the, you know, the, the bus, and they're walking their way into the ground. Everyone's looking for autographs, and they're just whistling right past yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> Five minutes and saying that we fell as football. <laughs> no, but that's fair play. No, so that's just what it's like to even you know, for the international games as well. Just the oh, same yeah. thing. Yeah. So, so tell me this, I'm getting into the big and meaningful questions now. Is there anyone that you look up to in the game? Uh well, my favourite player would be David Beckham. Beckham! Oh yes. I mean he's an out of heart now. Oh <laughs> <laughs> well being a a hardcore Man United fan. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, <laughs> There might be a few yeah. people that might be happy. <laughs> there you go. Other teams are available. Other teams are available. Good, good. Yeah. So, no, David Beckham. Beckham yeah, exactly. Uh, How often do you train? How often do I train? Uh, well, you're talk if you're talking um, about five, six times a week. Really? Yeah. Man, that's a lot. Like, I'm four times a week in the gym. Really? But, uh, Even that. Hardcore. <laughs> I train every Saturday. Down, down me local. <laughs> Sounds a bit left on me, one hour. <laughs> <laughs> but sure, that's a bit close, man.
Yeah. 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 No, but yeah, that's a lot, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I suppose it takes that, though. You know, to reach that kind of level where you're at playing on an international you know, level, that you have to be like that. Oh, yeah, you have to be on top of your game always. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still, there's bound to be a time where you just want to lay eight burgers and scratch your head in front of the neighbours. Bound to be. Oh, yeah. You do get tired, obviously. That's nah, stuff training the night. I'm watching right. my brother or something. <laughs> you know, but now. TV shows are available. Oh, there's I'm a celebrity on at the moment. Is it? It is. <laughs> We're missing it! But here, you're through to the Big Rab show, it's a cracker. Yeah. Who's going to get the photo down here? <laughs> You're going to get a bush trucker trial. No, the bush trucker trial. That is, I'm having a bush trucker trial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to raise a bit of money and put <laughs> some stuff out here. Anyway, so I, we've got a couple more questions for you before and then the torture will end. So what was your most memorable moment in football today? Um, I would have to say scoring my first senior international goal. Really? Yeah. yeah. Yes. 